Are there actually people who play Minecraft like this? Like POV all the way up? I'm curious, who are you? Why are you doing it? Anyway, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to disable plugins in certain worlds using a plugin called Per World Plugins. So in other words, uh, let's say you're running a multiverse core server and some of the plugins you're using, you only want enabled in particular worlds. For example, if you're using a Skyblock plugin, then you probably only want it enabled in your Skyblock worlds because why would the rest of the server need it? Now, some plugins actually have this feature built in where you can easily disable it in certain worlds, though a lot of plugins also don't have this feature and this is where Per World Plugins fits in perfectly. So this plugin lets you disable any plugin you want in any world you want. It is actually great! So before we start, make sure to leave a like, also press that subscribe button, click on the notification bell, turn my Discord server if you want to get yourself some Minecraft server support, and then without any further ado, let's dive right into this. So the first step, like always, is clicking on the link in the description of this video that will take you to the Spigot MC page from Per World Plugins. Here you can find yourself some information if you need it, but the plugin is really straightforward and I'm gonna show you how it works anyway. So you simply wanna click on download now, then Spigot will redirect you to this website and here you just want to click on download, wait a little bit and there we go. Okay, it's time for step two. Go to your Minecraft server folder or wherever you host your Minecraft server, it doesn't matter, except for Aetronos, as I think you actually can't upload plugins to Aetronos. I'm not entirely sure on that, but I think that's the case. Anyway, what you want to do is just drag the jar file we just downloaded into your plugins folder, like that. That's it. Now we just want to boot our micro server for a little bit, so I'm gonna launch it, double click, let it load for a little bit. Make sure it says done here at the bottom, then you know it's finished loading plugins and all that. And then we can simply type stop in the console and the server will close again. After that, we want to go back to the plugins folder. And now there should be a folder in there that's called per world plugins. We're going to open it and then we have the config and the groups. We're going to go to the config and inside of the config, there will be a list with the plugins you're currently running on your Minecraft server. It will generate it automatically, which is great. And if you add a plugin to your server, it will also add it to this list. So that is really cool. And now from here, we can disable certain plugins from certain worlds. So let's say I want better RTP. I want it disabled in the nether because I, for some reason, really don't like people RTPing in my nether. That's not gonna happen. Not at my watch. So we're gonna simply disable it. Worlds, nether, like that. We're done. <laughs> it's actually that easy. So now, better RTP will be disabled in our nether. Now, we actually don't have any other plugins inside of the server that would make sense disabling in another world. But let's say I would want anti pop up to be disabled inside of my end world, for example. Then we can just simply type worlds the end like that and now it will be disabled in the end. Not that that makes any difference with this particular plugin, but this is how it works. So anti pop up would in theory be disabled in the end now. Now this plugin is of course fully compatible with multiverse core. So let's say you're running a world that's called lobby, then we can go and disable vault in for example, the lobby world just like that. Make sure you know your world names and you should be fine. Also, let's say we want to disable better RTP in both the nether and the end, then we can simply Simply press enter, minus symbol, space, and then we're gonna do world, the end here, like that. So now better RTP will be disabled in both the nether and the end world. Okay, perfect. Now we're gonna save the file, exit out, and now it's time to start up our server again. So just start it. Okay, so here we are again. Inside of Minecraft, I'm gonna try and type slash RTP in the overworld, and like you can see, it works perfectly and that is because we didn't touch it we didn't change anything about rtp in the overworld but in the nether and in the end it should be disabled so i'm simply gonna go to world's nether like that oh no 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 <sighs> that was pretty close but okay i'm in the nether and still alive let's type slash rtp and you can see this command is disabled for this world. Better RTP will not work. The plugin is disabled in the nether and in the end as well. It is actually this easy. There's not more to it. This is how it works. Per world plugins, guys. It is great for any multiverse core server you're running. Now, I've seen some people say that it will let your server actually run better because some plugins just don't need to load in certain worlds. I don't know if that's the case. It might be, it might not be, but it is at least a great way to let 
that certain plugins just not work in a world at all. For example, like I said, a skyblock plugin. You only want people to use the skyblock commands inside of the actual skyblock world. So it would be a great idea to just disable the skyblock plugin in any other world so you don't have to worry about that. I think it's pretty cool, pretty useful. I've seen many people actually requesting this plugin and here you go. This is how it works. Anyways, guys, I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like. Also, smash that subscribe button and click on the notification bell. You would really help me out by doing that. You actually would. We're getting closer and closer to hitting the 20k subscribers, which will be an insanely cool milestone and I'm sure we can hit it. Also, make sure to join my Discord server if you need help with anything Minecraft server related. Link will, of course, be in the description of this video. And then, guys, I hope you have an amazing day and I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.